Maya and the original Queen of Grand Cross, the Elizabeth here. The Revival Elizabeth. Man, has this, you know, bring me some terrible times playing this game. She is, she's still really, really strong. And I think this team definitely does a lot for her. Um, this first turn is going to be a little bit scary. Honestly, let's go for this. If we don't end up killing the Meliodas, not even going to have to worry about it. Light victory screen there. Or light, I feel like I'm going to go ahead and call her the Light Elizabeth so much in this video. But the Goddess Elizabeth, I'm going to have to get used to that one. She is strong. The CC difference between the two is a little annoying. If you have a Holy Relic, there shouldn't be a thousand CC difference. That's if you're also considering the maxed out costumes, all that kind of stuff. But she's still very, very good. The Revive, the Counter or Ultimate, everything does super, super well. Um, it's another matchup where I'm kind of not the biggest fan. If I go for something like this, I feel like this could potentially be a play. Damn, I just... Why do I have to start off the video with a Fraudrin matchup? Like, are you kidding me? Almost get rid of the Meliodas in just one card as well. Uh, I mean, I suppose I could go for a... Like, this weaker AoE. Hopefully, that kills off the... Oh, that'll definitely kill off the Fraudrin. Use the ultimate. That'll kill Escanor and everyone else. And there's no way Meli survives. Killing the Escanor also remove his ultimate gauge. I mean, even if we die here, we still keep the ultimate, right? That's where the Elizabeth revive is different to the Eskinor revive. Although we are still going to be very, very low. Yeah, that's where this team's really strong. Because if you're fighting these really bursty damage teams, look, we just, we live with the ultimate. This ended up working perfectly for us. Uh, we'll go one if the game wants to load for me. One, two, and then three. That should about wrap things up. There we go. We kill the Fraudron. Eskinor gets his full ultimate gauge. Doesn't get HP back with that one. And then, yeah, that's game. Wow, it was definitely less annoying than I thought it would be having to verse the Fraudron to start off the video. But Eskinor having a lot of revives, but we should be fine, right? Mael and all the other guys can make work by themselves. As long as you didn't get a level three merger, we're not gonna have our team completely wiped. But I don't know, maybe if you guys were a little unfortunate, didn't get the Light Elizabeth in your summons, this one, it's definitely going to do some work. Uh, I suppose if you really want to run the best team for the Archangels, I'd probably just recommend... I mean, yeah, it's, that's just how the game works. Eskinor has his revive. He gets a level 3 AoE. You're done for. Get him. Get him out of there. Uh, yeah, this is... Unfortunate. I mean, I still think we could probably come through with the win on this one just due to lifesteal, which is why I'm going to go ahead and use it. Yeah, let's go. That's why I was using the level 2 card on the Escanor, because it would have gotten us the most HP back. We rank it up and stuff as well. Good stuff, good stuff. But yeah, Sariel's very strong. Um, don't really need any ult levels in him. His counter is going to be enough value to kind of get you the wins. Same with the Margaret, don't really need a crazy amount of ult levels. Even the team in general, you can have them all at 1-6. Granted, the ultimates are going to help, stuff like that. Really end up rematching the same guy. I mean, let's just go for the same thing we did last game. And I may actually... Did we get the exact same card draw as well? I think we did. Go this, you, and you. Would have liked to have turned one been able to get the ultimate, but that's fine, that's fine. Uh, yeah, there is a couple really fun comps we can run with the Archangels. I do really wish we had at least one more Archangel character. I'll still go ahead and use characters like Elate and stuff with them. Uh, I went ahead and did the full light team with Eskin also. Some stuff can be used, but if you're looking to run even stuff like Gotha, the amount of stats and stuff you lose from not having a full Archangel team is really bad. A full Goddess team, if that's what you want to call it. Even if we were to run a unit in the front like the Suicide Liz to get him his kind of like grey buffs that he gets with the damage reduction. The second again, once she dies, it's really, really hard to kind of get that same value. And do we want to hold on to his cards till she dies? Because, I mean, you can just have your opponent play around the Suicide unit like we did in the last one. Uh... I mean, if we go like this, right? That'll kill these two, and then we can stun him. Is this gonna work? Or have I just fumbled the... Could be a little bit scary if we... Don't end up... Okay, yeah, no, we're fine. We are chilling. I mean, I probably should have gone ahead and used the shield as dead, and then... Watch this guy just get the same level 3 merger and just completely blitz my team. I mean, I'm glad we're at least getting to shot the my ultimate a lot in this one. I still want to go ahead and try and get him 5-6. 
for just to help out with the Nidhogg boss because I've been using it with the Archangel team and just due to the fact that my Freya and Maya are super low ult levels, it makes the fight really, really difficult. It's unfortunate, but it's just the way it is. I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and move back to the Trader Melee team. Escanor arrives, is just too strong. Bro, all had Bro had to do was start on the Escanor banner and 6-6 six, six him, and it just single-handedly won him the match. This is why if you guys are struggling to use a backline unit and you have a high ult level Escanor, just chuck him in there. Put him on attack crit. He'll, he'll win you matches 100%. I'm up against the Ludo team. Uh, I mean, we should be fine here. These are the kind of teams you want to be versing, especially if this Meliodas doesn't have the Tarmiel, which he does. I still feel like I can get rid of him with just the two cards, although that may be, may be a mistake. We'll put up the Elizabeth Shield. We haven't really been able to see a crazy match, other than the revive that saved us in that first match. Haven't been able to see any of the shield, anything like that. We didn't get to see the effect from the stun, even though we threw out the card. Yeah. Block effect there, but we can always cleanse that, so I'm not super worried about doing that starting hand. Uh, this is a really good turn for us. I think this could be really, really good. We could cleanse the block effect, kill Escanor with the single target card, and then because Melee's probably going to use a card, it can uh, we can cleanse his stun. Or we can stun him, and he won't be able to cleanse, which would be really, really nice. Please use a Melee card. That's annoying. Hmm... I mean, realistically, right? Yeah, I don't know. I want to play this one now. I'm using the melee card would have been really nice for us. Let's... Let's go for this. I'm hoping that single target will be enough to kill Escanor, and then we can just show off another Maya ultimate. As long as you have this man 3-6 robot, he is going to be one tapping teams. It's... That's just how they make units nowadays. Oh, I did forget about the fact that it still worked for melee. I should have just gone for the same stun play. Are we going to get one tapped here? We do have the revive though. This might have been a perfect opportunity to show off just what the Elizabeth's capable of again. Go on, single target my L. Oh, bro doesn't even want to go for it. Bro just gave up. Yeah, it's sweet. Full force, my L. Um, oh no, man. Different, different Elizabeth, I'm thinking. I was going to check how many stacks we had now to get the full damage, but wrong Elizabeth. Okay, sweet. How much do we think? One million? Two million. Ouch, bro. Ouch. You're gonna let my old do you like that? I mean, he. That was much he could have done there. We could have gone for the stun plate and it would have worked out all the same. That was a little bit more impressive, though. I feel like I don't usually see myself in Champ 3 either, just because I'm so used to running on random teams and end up getting absolutely stomped for it. And I am I am a sucker for using this little so man, but. Times have changed. I don't I don't know how many more new units can come out and me chuck him on a team with a Lodosil and actually get a viable showcase out of him. Netmarble, please. Please, man. We need a strong whale unit, just like you did for him. It's it's sad. Lodosil Supremacy? Maybe no more. Maybe no more. Uh, because yeah, like what can he do here? He could rank up, merge a level two with the Escanor. AoE, and even then, if he was to wipe the full team, my L would come back with full HP because he's the one furthest to the left and kneels at full HP before the card, and then he just simply wipes the rest of the team. It's it's that simple. This man cannot do enough anymore. Who know? Maybe if they want to release an Archangel within the within the next couple weeks, within the next month, would be nice. Um, new Ludosio, not Margaret Ludosio. I specifically want that one. Uh, his grace is. His grace is a little annoying. It's the whole stun, petrification, cleanse thing is not the greatest anymore. Back in the day, don't get me wrong, it was fire. That was, you know, chuck that stuff on some of the old rush characters was really, really strong. But now if there's a character that hasn't already got a grace and you're wanting to get good value out of him, slap the, slap this army or grace on. It's going to be working wonders. going to be working absolute wonders. Uh, I mean, since we haven't showed it off yet, you and then you. I mean, in that last match as well, having the Purgatory Barn in the back line, I had two stun cards. I could have just gone ahead and only used the stun cards and merged and get to see what this Elizabeth is really about. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Mael, Mael's him, huh? Mael is 100%. Also, this costume's so goddamn nice, man. The SR costume is way too good for Mael. Uh, we'll go a little something like this instead. If, are we going to ultimate every single match this video? I think we might have. I think we might have, which is really strange because most videos I struggle 
to get Northman out, but I mean, if it works, and a demon team, um, can he actually see it as well? Do we not have? Was I not three sixty nine with? I actually, might have run out of CC food. In all honesty, I think I'm probably gonna have to watch that one back to see the to see what my CC was because we definitely because remember the last showcase with the ladder Elizabeth who were three seventy, and this is recorded what five minutes after that. You shouldn't have lost that much of this, Elizabeth. Um, and still not great for us going second against Demon Team. Darkness stacks are annoying because it boosts their team, not decrease ours. Will Margaret be enough to kill Chandler? I mean, if Chandler drops the stance, which I don't think he had the level two, is nice. Um. He hasn't used his block effect, and it doesn't look like his Chandler's doing it first, so it doesn't look like he's using the block effect either. Don't make the mistake and try and kill Margaret. Come on, man. Silly, silly. I mean, they do have the... Okay, see, so yeah, I'm still using the Dragon Claw card. I swear characters usually, like, strike pose when they're going to use a card in that turn. Um, It's annoying, but surely, right? Uh... And our card draw is not looking good for any emerge or anything like that. We're going to end up losing that card. How much stats do you have? Mm, too much for us to kill you in one turn. I'm just going to go for this. Why not? I think we're I think we're going to lose this one just for the fact that we don't have any don't have any food or anything like that active here. I am making excuses, but true magic. I probably could have killed with the Margaret AoE. Even without the skill effect being the charge, the card doesn't do good damage, right? We would have been fine. Let's see. Watch him use a Meliodas a AOE... Oh my god. <laughs> Watch him use a Meliodas AoE first, and the Elizabeth Shield just absorb that crap, man. Like, she was so strong. And we have the Holy Relic to kind of help out as well. Oh, no, it just broke through. <sighs> That was such a waste of a dark magic card. I mean, he got rid of Margaret. I suppose that's good and all. Dragon Claw one taps through the shield? Nah, that's gotta be fake. Got to be fake. I mean, I, I like the look of this hand. Uh, one, two, and three. Yeah, I don't think there's much else we can do. Just kind of get rid of these cards. Damn, well, this is where Elizabeth kind of feels like she used to, and being able to do stuff like this is always really fun. I mean, Estorosa doesn't do a lot other than these passive. Maybe maybe I should have gone for Chandler instead, because... Oh, what am I doing? I actually do not know how to play this game. <laughs> on oh, God, on oh, God. I mean, no food, huge misplay. He's got the goaded Meliodas costume. We get one tapped. That's that was terribly done by me. And I think I'm gonna leave that one on that note. Let's go ahead and check it. Was I having any food equipped? Yeah. Okay. Look, if we check, there it is. That's the reason why. That is 100%. No, John's the reason why I lost that one. But. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. Really, really fun team. I think this Elizabeth is still super, super strong. I really wish I could have won that last one, that way we got the flawless video, but with the amount of ultimates we could show off, or that we did show off with this mile, still really, really happy with how that one showcased. Um, Elizabeth, yeah, of course, 6 out of 6. Pretty good gear, considering it's an Elizabeth character, because it should definitely be better. I should have full 15% rolls for that one, and the cosmetics are maxed out. This Elizabeth has a lot of good costumes as well. If it wasn't for this anniversary one that she got, the, uh, what was it? The, it's like a fairy tale costume set that came out. That one's really, really nice as well. And then I really like some of the modern clothes for some of the older festivals. Her and the Lost Fame both got that one. But once again, that just about does it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If so, please hit like and subscribe. Really means a lot to me. And I'll see you guys for some more Grand Cross content.